And it's finals time here at High V Hall in Des Moines, Iowa. It's the Division Three finals of the NWCA Multi-Divisional National Duels presented by the Marines here on Fox College Sports. Jason Bryant here with you, and we're going to see a good one here. Number one, Wartburg with 44 wins in a row and the three-time defending champion of this event, taking on the upstart Concordia College Cobbers, the number six seed, already getting their highest finish in school history at this event, trying to knock off the kings of Division III wrestling, Wartburg. We start action here at 125 pounds, where third-ranked Gilberto Camacho, he's in the orange with the black trim, the senior from Fresno, California, wrestling for Eric Keller's Wartburg Knights. He's ranked number three in the nation, was third last year at the Division III Championships. Taking on a sophomore from Callaway, Minnesota, this is Gabe Fultz for Concordia. Camacho in on the leg in the early going. Here 48 seconds in, comes around, gains control of the hips, that's two takedown for Camacho. Now Camacho, an interesting story, came to Wartburg out of Fresno, California, was a 103 pounder as a senior in high school. So if you know much about college wrestling and recruiting, 103 pounders really aren't highly sought after with the lowest weight class in college being 125 pounds. But he went to coach Jim Miller in Wartburg, now Eric Keller. Grew into the weight class and has had a pretty solid career. Taking on Gabe Fultz. He's had some pretty tight matches thus far. 2-0 lead for Camacho. One of nine wrestlers from Wartburg ranked in the top ten. Eric Keller currently fighting the flu this weekend, so he's been pretty much out of commission. We'll get a fresh start with 119 to go here in period number one. Three minute first period, two minutes second and third periods. Commonly this would be Wartburg and Augsburg, but Augsburg was upended in the semifinals, 21 to 15 by Concordia. Wasn't the only upset of the tournament. Concordia upset number three Wabash, 22 to 13 in the quarterfinals. And had a great duel with Wisconsin Lacrosse in the opening round, winning that one 22 to 16. Here's the one point escape for Fultz. As riding time now up over a minute and 10 seconds for Camacho. Again. The differences between high school and collegiate wrestling at the end of the match. If there's one minute of advantage time on the clock, that wrestler will receive an extra point. And Camacho on the attack again. Under 30 to go. Wartburg got here with a 38-7 win over NYU in the opening round. Another half shot there by Camacho. Countered nicely with the front headlock by Fultz. Fultz definitely the lankier of the two. Giving Camacho a pretty big target when he goes to shoot the legs. End of the first period, a 2-1 lead for Camacho. With choice. And he will defer. And Fultz will start in the second period of the down position. Concordia out of Moorhead, Minnesota. Commonly referred to many in the wrestling circles as Concordia Moorhead because uh, there are several there's actually quite a few Concordia colleges and Concordia universities around this country. But in the state of Minnesota, there's a Concordia in St. Paul, which is a Division II school. And then there's the Concordia in Moorhead, a Division III school. And so you can't really say Concordia of Minnesota because there's definitely two of them. Unlike Concordia of Wisconsin, which we just refer to as Concordia of Wisconsin. Foltz gets the escape, ties it up two to two. Riding time at a minute and 32 for Camacho. Concordia, coached by former University of Minnesota All-American Matt Nagel. He's in his first year. Coming up on the one-minute mark. 
And Nagel's assistant coach, a guy he knows pretty well, it's his dad, Clay. Clay Nagel was the coach at Concordia for the seven previous seasons. Stepped down to an associate head coach role. Thirty seconds remaining in the second period. Still not at it two, but Camacho again with the riding time advantage. I'm trying to work the front headlock. Still trying to bounce and go. Five seconds. Separation created. And nothing doing the rest of this period. So we will go to the third, tied up at two, with Camacho having choice. He's going to start in a down position. Wartburg coach Eric Keller in his first full season as the head coach. He spent the last several years as the co-head coach with the now retired Jim Miller. And there's a caution on Camacho for a quick start. And Camacho quickly up and out, takes a 3-2 lead. First of 10 bouts here in this championship final here at High V Hall. Wartburg looking for its fourth straight National Duels title. And since the inception of the National Duels, only two schools have won it. You're looking at them right now. Wartburg's one of them, and Augsburg the other. And for a number of years, it was Augsburg and Wartburg in the finals. But Concordia says, uh-uh. You're going to talk about a team that sports the maroon. You're talking about us. One other thing about Matt Nagel going to uh, Concordia, he didn't have to change his wardrobe. They're maroon and gold just like the University of Minnesota. Coming up on 40 seconds now. Another front headlock position for Camacho. Bolts reaching, flailing rather for the leg. Macho likes his lock. Looks like he might try to go ahead in the hole. Nope. Oh, a little knee tap. And he's going to come around, clear the shoulders and get two and extend his lead now to five to two with 13 seconds remaining. Basically swung that arm in. Tapped, folds his knee, got him off balance, dropped him to the mat for the easy go behind, and that's how it will end, 6-2. to two. So Wartburg will take a 3-0 lead after one weight. The winner at 125, Gilberto Camacho, 6-2. to two.